So it all started with a seemingly innocuous but stubborn, ill-informed move to weaponize the US dollar by the US administration of all colors at some point in time. But it also appears that someone did not know when to stop. And we can see that continuing with the so-called debt limit which has no limit whatsoever. And the recent credit rating downgrade by Fitch for credit worthiness of the US government's finances says volumes about the direction Lagos finance is heading, which is a road to nowhere. The strength of that position hinged on the failure of governments to win themselves off from the US dollar. But something has snapped in a big way. And it's no longer just about the US dollar being the global reserve currency that no one actually trusts. I don't even know if this will remain a subject of discussion for a long time to come, nor do I know whether the US dollar is going to collapse or not. However, what I know is we've got to discuss this. Failure to discuss this underlying issue for Lagos finance is just irresponsible in my view. And not just because I have chosen to participate within the crypto space, but because I know that the system we are all currently using is not working for the majority across the globe, it's not good and it's not fit for purpose. What to do? What to do, I wonder. Hmm. Hi guys, this is FD4C5.TV. I'm your host today, giving you our views concerning the current global finance system in comparison to the space we all love very much, which is the crypto space. We are also going to be touching on the US downgrade and give you some wild, wild predictions of what we think is coming. Coming. And also not guys, the information I'm going to share with you in this video is not financial advice. If you do require financial advice, by now you know what to do. Please approach someone who's trying to give you financial advice. The information contained in this video is just for educational as well as entertainment purposes. So we know the bigger players are pivoting to crypto with the likes of Wisdom Tree, Fidelity, BlackRock, and some major European banks going all in into the crypto space. Now, if you are still on the sidelines and you are an individual who is struggling to make ends meet, literally, I don't don't really care whether you hold a meme coin or not but just yet in your position then i don't know what to tell you all i can say is you are being left behind that's it yeah my crazy predictions for the coming two to five years some of these might come to fruition earlier than expected so let's start with cbdc's guys cbdc's are coming but they are going to fail that is my own opinion of course it is already common knowledge that countries across the globe are either experimenting with blockchain technology for their respective central bank digital currencies or cbdc as they are commonly known or if you are in China you already have one even though it's not widely used yet or there is no wide adoption yet I don't think it's been widely trialed across the whole country in China however when it comes to change it is a simple swap so sudden and life as Chinese people know it today is all gone just like that while in the UK the US Australia among other major countries are already laying the groundwork for their respective CBDCs my prediction is while CBDCs are the next exploit mechanism from those in power, doesn't matter whether it's government or private, a central bank digital currency or CBDC isn't going to fix what I refer to in my intro as something has snapped. You see, the CBDC is still following the same mentality that turned cash into a control mechanism and goes much further, a means to extract value through inflationary policies, which only benefited those who already had too much from those with very little. That same insatiable greed and desperation for absolute power is the same motivation driving the switch to CBDCs. What those proposing and championing the introduction of CBDCs are failing to realize that this is not the correct solution to the underlying problems. What's required is a root and branch restructuring of the current financial system so that it works for the little person just as much as it works for the bigger person and to root out unproductive middlemen who continue to extract value for doing so little. A CBDC is just the same clever knife with a different handle. The trick is to revisit the idea of whether a knife is the right tool and maybe consider replacing that knife with something else. I don't know, thinking out of the box, maybe we do not need a knife at all. Maybe a wrapping paper, just a thought. At the moment, there are knives in the middle of our transactions, just cutting whatever piece they like. From one end to another, the results do not match the inputs and by wide margin, so to speak. So that is my wild prediction, number one. Number two, prediction. Spot Bitcoin ETF from your Black Rocks, Wisdom Tree, Fidelity and the like is just the beginning and it is not going to end there. Again, that's what I think. That's just my own opinion. These entities have realized that whatever wealth they've accumulated for themselves or their clients is being diminished, eroded away.
away, taken away by stealth. And the only way to join the only space that is progressive, protective, inclusive, and is the future, that's crypto. And I think this is just the start as well. Many more will join them, and not all of them will be coming over to Bitcoin, I'm afraid. So those Bitcoin Marxists who are crazy about mass adoption just for Bitcoin and nothing else. And I also think it will not end there either. I can also see a situation where the likes of BlackRock, Wisdom Tree, Fidelity, and many others either launching their own blockchains or building dApps on layer twos or on other layer ones. The logic behind that move will be to extract additional value to benefit themselves other than third parties, which is just common sense. So folks, brace yourselves. Bigger things are coming, in my opinion. My third wild prediction is that MicroStrategy could become the next company to tokenize their shares or stock, if, if you want to call them that. Hear me out. Yes, today, Michael Saylor is all in on Bitcoin, but he wasn't always a Bitcoin bull. Something snapped. In fact, he was a Bitcoin septic prior to being orange peeled, and now he's the Bitcoin marketing in chief. His next pivot is around the corner, by the way, and might not end with just the tokenization of his micro strategy shares on, say, Ethereum or Polkadot. That would be weird, right? No. What's weird was him converting to Bitcoin, having been a skeptic for so long. So this is nothing. He's already in crypto, but he may start diversification at some point, and he will classify it as such. It's common sense in business. You need to diversify instead of putting all your eggs in one basket. For now, you will let this ride, but that will also come to an end, like his skepticism in the beginning. Strange things have happened in crypto. Look at Larry Fink, Michael Saylor himself, among some prominent people who have had to make some huge U-turns, and they are not even embarrassed. <laughs> My wild prediction number four is that Coinbase will become a global bank, whether Gary Gensler or Elizabeth Warren like it or not. Currently, Coinbase's product lineup is being hampered or restricted by the regulatory uncertainty in the States. However, at some point, when their global presence gets larger in size, the US market will be relegated from being the leader to being a follower, just natural. And what while Coinbase may hesitate to tokenize their stock due to regulatory uncertainty, it is more likely that they are going to launch a base token, right? You heard it here first. It's more likely that they are going to launch their base token at some point. Base, which is their layer 2 scaling solution on optimism. This could be the play that Coinbase is banking on to become a bank with its own network to settle transactions for themselves, their own network. So, it could be a worthwhile gamble to transact on Coinbase's layer 2, which is base. You never know. If one day they decide to launch a token, the benefits could be very lucrative. That is just my own opinion, of course. Wild prediction number five, the best use cases for crypto are yet to emerge, but once they finally arrive, the cryptocurrency space will explode just as much as the internet caught fire, so to speak. When the internet finally took off, there was no stopping it then, and that could be what's in store for the cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology in general. Most use cases at present are painful to articulate with the majority a bit of a stretch, but once the next generation of use cases arrive, everything will become obvious. And just like web development today, creators or developers won't be the software engineers, but your typical layman with a great idea that is also unique, that the masses derive value from and are willing to part their hard earned cash with. This also means that there will come a time when today's rug pulls are no more. That will be a welcome development from across the board. World prediction number six. There's going to be a world currency that anyone and everyone will be happy to transact in, in a permissionless and censored decentralized manner. And I can tell you right now that it won't be Bitcoin or Ethereum or an existing cryptocurrency for that matter. What form it will take and what language it is going to be written in or what blockchain is going to be hosted on will be less important as I believe that as time passes, it will become less important to know what blockchain a user is using, but whether the product they are using is attractive, user-friendly, secure, and ethical dependent on the direction of their moral compass. Prediction number seven, real world asset tokenization is the next revolution for global economies. Once that happens, political boundaries will matter much less. And if that coincides with other technological developments such as accessible space travel, then some of these things will become less important as humanity come together for a cause greater than an individual's or a particular group. All of which I think is coming within our lifetimes for those of us who are lucky enough to still be alive. Anyway guys, this was one one of those slightly philosophical takes on what I foresee for this space that we all love for the next couple of years to five years. Any thoughts guys? Let us know what you think. Any world predictions of your own that you harbor that you hesitate to share with us? I've just provided you with a platform. Share with us what your thoughts are. There is no right or wrong answer here. They're just predictions. But if any of my predictions come true, I'm sure to come back and rub it onto you big time. Until next time guys, this is FD for TV. signing out for now. Bye.